What's up gamers and collectors, DGC back with another video and today we're going to do an unboxing of the Fox 2 Pro flight stick for the original Xbox. This is still sealed in the original box and uh, I picked out six flight games to test it out with. Let's jump in and check it out. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and unbox this like this. It's the best idea I could really come up with. This is a very odd shaped box and uh, this is just how we're going to do it. So I got a box cutter here. So supposedly from what I know this is still sealed. So we're going to, there's no actual tape on the tab here, but let's rip that open. Alright, not looking good so far. We got uh, one tape sealed and one, uh, one of them is open already. All right, and then up top we got uh, instructions here. So nothing, frankly, some strange like 1990s instructions with the accordion. Uh, <laughs> Multi-language though. All right, that's where those go. All right, so one tape is already open, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and slice this other one open. Not really too much much to this box, just kind of a black piece there on top. And then uh, inside here. Oh boy. Alright, so I guess let's uh, rip these condoms off. I get this off without destroying it. This is already bent here, although I'm wondering if that's just from the way I opened it or from age maybe, but. Oh. Okay. I mean, I only paid three dollars for this, so I guess it's not really too big of a deal if I mess up the cardboard. I don't think these are that rare or anything. All right, let's toss that there. All right, then you got a zip tie here. All right, okay. So the cable looks brand new, not gross and disgusting or faded or anything. So I think this might actually be new, boys. I think this might be new. All right, so this has, um, on this side, it's got uh, white, X, black, Y, uh, two random buttons here. Then you've got the um, little slider here for plus and minus. And then in the center here, I feel, okay, so it's got like a locking position in the center, so you, I guess while you're playing, damn, I keep hitting that thing hard. I guess while you're playing, you wouldn't really be looking at it, so you would want to know where it locks in the middle. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, that's kind of like ergonomically laid out to where I guess you would put your thumb there, kind of like that, and then like play with the buttons here like that. All right. Then on the other side, you've got uh, vibration. Okay, so I guess this it doesn't feel like it. it's very light. It doesn't uh, feel very heavy, but I guess it has vibration uh, rumble pads in it or rumble packs, whatever. That shows your age. Is it rumble pads or rumble packs? Sound off in the comments below. Uh, then you got the program button. I guess you oh you could probably program these two buttons maybe. And then you got uh, back and start. Uh, okay. Now, all right. Then you got A here. Hopefully you guys can see that. There's a little. Uh, little A guy there. That looks kind of cool. That's nice. It's like a little see-through green. Okay, you got another button here. Alright, and then up top here. Okay, got another one here. Then you've got uh, what looks to be the B button. That one looks cool too because that's got like uh, green and black stripes in it. And it's, okay, yeah. And then, uh, oh, okay, got a little thumbstick here. And then obviously the flight part, or flight joystick part, I guess you would call that. Okay, and then it's got... Um, I guess two-way uh, tilty or sideways motions. I don't even know what you, is that the yaw? I'm not a flight guy. Again, in the comments, sound off below. That's like the sideways motions and then the flight part. Um, okay, so let's see here. Oh, that's funny. So it actually says Top Gun on the bottom there. Hopefully that, uh, let's see if we can get that in the, out of the shadow. There we go, Top Gun. And then uh, what does this say here? This is joystick resistance, okay. Let's fiddle with that. What does that do? Let's go all the way loose. Yeah, it's loose. Oh, mama. That's 
floppy as it loosey goosey. Okay, and then let's see if we go all the way tight how that feels. Oh, okay, right here. So hopefully you guys can see that. When you're tightening that, it's actually shrinking this down a little bit. So I guess that's literally screwing into it, making the, I can only, well, I guess I could unscrew it and find out, but I'm, I don't know that I necessarily want to do that. But I imagine it's kind of like a ball socket, and that's probably screwing it and sucking it down into it. So let's see how tight, that's all the way tight now. Oh, wow. That makes that super tight. <laughs> that's like a uh, short throw shifter on a car. <laughs> okay. That's kind of cool. That's kind of neat. All right, it doesn't, it doesn't change the tightness of that, but I guess that would make sense. Now, it also has like, I guess a, you would call that a wrist rest here for right-handed. So this is definitely designed for right-handed people. Most people are right-handed. Um, I guess you, you probably could play this left-handed. I mean, you definitely could. I don't know that that would be comfy though because of this, this uh, bulge right here. That wouldn't be very comfy. Now, this does look to be pretty new. The only thing that looks alarming to me, not that it matters, it was $2.95 plus tax, um, plus I wanted this in the collection anyway, is this little bit of rubber right here. It's got a little bit of white fade to it. I don't know if that's just something rubber naturally does on its own after like 20 years. I mean, this is, when did, when did Deadly Skies actually come out? I don't even know when Deadly Skies came out. Actually, no, that was a launch title. So this might very well be a launch accessory for the original Xbox. So this might very well be 20 years old in 2021. Um, still new in the box for three bucks. But yeah, that looks a little funky right there. There's a little bit of dust here. But I mean, again, the box wasn't like fully sealed in the sense that it was like saran wrapped or whatever you want to call that vacuum sealed. I mean, it was still open to the elements, so to speak. There is still a sticker here. Hopefully you can see that. It's like, uh, I guess, what does that say? Oh, this is how you preset stuff. So preset one equals program plus back. Preset two is program plus start. Preset three is program plus vibration. I don't know what that means, but uh, I guess that's how you program the buttons. Maybe I'm not honestly sure. All right, guys. So let's jump in and check out this stick with these six games and see how well it handles them. Select the target directly in front of you, or cycle through active targets. The mines will explode if you get too close. You got all of them! Your next exercise is a combat droid, equipped with training lasers. Well done! Good shooting, Bravo 10. The next two waves will simulate a starfighter attack. Nice shot, Dallows. The ground. Start the engine by rotating the right...
All right, guys, that's the unboxing of the flight stick along with the six games that I decided to try it out with. Air Force Delta, obviously it works great with this game. Once I figured out the controls, it's a match made in heaven. Solely for this game, if you want to get this stick, 100% recommendation on that front. Crimson Skies, well, it worked okay. Uh, again, you probably kind of just have to reprogram your, your brain to play with the flight stick. I would almost even think maybe drawing a little diagram of where the buttons are and what they do so you can kind of just quickly reference it off to the side maybe that would be something I, I think I might try to do just so I can again reprogram my brain to like go oh the top button is shoot to the back button is boosters you know throttle down is this button that kind of thing uh, wings of war yeah, kind of worked kind of didn't uh, Star Wars um, Starfighter totally did work I'm actually pretty impressed that it worked well with that Blazing Angels, couldn't quite figure it out, so I don't know, maybe it doesn't work with that one. And surprisingly enough, Panzer Dragoon Orta, of all games, kind of a flight game, so it's like an on-rails flight game, kind of shoot 'em up kind of three games in one. I figured I'd give it a shot and see if it worked with that, because I love that game, and surprisingly, it did. It kind of 10x's the difficulty, though, or again, you just got to reprogram your brain to get it to work with the flight stick, so you're like, oh, okay, that's shoot, that's pivot the screen this way, that kind of thing. And you just kind of got to figure it out like that. But uh, that's the Flight Stick unboxing, six games. If you would be so kind to leave a like if you found anything interesting and enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below if you've played any of these games. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, peace out for now, guys. Till next time. Come here, you mother... I'm mother. <laughs>